We need at least four fish. I want to try to catch one on each color. Got him. Almost got you. I saw that. That's a big bass. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. That's a big one. For our little pond, that ain't bad at all. What's going on guys? We are back at Walmart again. Ding, ding. And because it's springtime, there's a springtime favorite lure that you guys should know about. Like, if you're not throwing this in the springtime, I mean, it catches fish all year. Don't get me wrong. But in the springtime, it really, really shines. So what we're talking about, well, I'll just show you when we get in there. But it's made by Zoom. It's a soft plastic. We're going to get several variety of them. And uh, yeah, Chris, you ready to do this? Yeah, it has four legs and a tail, if that helps. It does. And you probably have already seen it in the thumbnail. Let's go. All right, guys, so we are on the fishing aisle. There is a kit here that I know, we all know works in spring, and I just wanna highlight it and talk about it, so we're gonna film with it. Come this way. It is made by Zoom, so it's gonna be a soft plastic kit, and they've only got one that I saw before we started filming here. All right, so check this thing out. I'm talking about lizards, the springtime favorite that catches everything. So we've got four different colors. We've got like lemon pepper. We've got, I think that's just like a regular pumpkin, a June bug, and then a watermelon color. So that's probably like watermelon seed if I had to guess, because it doesn't tell me. Thanks, Zoom. We're gonna take this to the lake. We're gonna catch some fish on it. It's already got some hooks. Chris, we may upgrade those hooks. Um, those are- uh, no, That's quality. That's, are you sure? You think well, I think the lead's a little bit big, but other but, than that. You always think the lead is like super huge. You want like really, really, like you like the 116 I'm not, deep, I'm not deep sea fishing. I don't well, want it to fall fast to the ground, I want it to flutter. At minimum, I want, I want one eighth. Flutter. Anyway, this is the time of year you need to be fishing these lizards in the springtime. So we're gonna hit the lake with this. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna catch some fish on it. We're just gonna have a good time. Hang in there, let's do it. All right, folks, we are back at the pond today. We got Chris back there in the old Dink Express is what we're naming it. Would, would, would it be an SS Dink Express or just Dink Express? We're gonna just put Dink Express. The Dink Express is what it's gonna be called. We are back at the pond with the Zoom Lizard Kit. I mean, we've got four different colors there. We've got like a, a watermelon, a June bug, a uh, like chartreuse pepper type thing, and then a uh, pumpkin color. So that's the name of the game today. Lizards really work. They excel in spring. They'll catch all year, but they really excel in spring. When the weather starts warming up a little bit, you actually get reptiles that start coming out and uh, you know, some of them get washed in the water with all your spring rains. And that's where these things excel. So let's get in the water. Let's jump in the old Dink Express, get around the pond. We need at least four fish. I want to try to catch one on each color. Oh, that's no problem. You don't think it's a problem at all? Not for me. Just saying, not for me. <laughs> Conceded much? I mean... Just facts, Jack. Uh, uh, well, all right. There you heard it. Let's get in the boat. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm going with a little... I don't even know what size weight this is. I've got a little bead. I'm going with a little chartreuse bead and a little, like, two or three-aught worm hook right here. Chris actually showed me this. He, he's fishing with these worm hooks. Look at this. Look at the reverse barb on this thing. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like that, but that's what he's fishing with, this little one aught reverse barbed hook. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen anything like that. He threw that to me, he said, here, you need a hook, take this hook. Never seen a reverse barbed hook. But then again, I haven't really paid attention either, so. Chris, what color are you gonna start with, bud? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I'll very tasty. I think we need to start with like the either the lemon pepper or the June bug first. I think those will be the hardest to get bit on just because they're the odd colors. Now granted, we're a little bit stained, so June bug may work pretty well. Those may those two acts may actually work really well because it's stained. Alright, these are the two we're starting with. What color you want? Take your pick your poison. I'll take your Alright. Alright, where you want to start? In the water. Good call. Man, how have we not gotten a bite yet? This is, yeah, that's right. These fish don't eat breakfast. That makes more sense. Oh, that's a bite. Get him over the log. Ski him in. Whew, got one on June bug. All right, folks. 
Little fella. Boop. Little spawned out fella. Look at that. Little belly curves in. Spawned out. He's got a real thick back though. So that's he's healthy enough. We're gonna let him go. Splash. So let's get off this June bug. We've completed that one. Do I go pumpkin or do I go watermelon, Chris? Pumpkin's gonna be your next toughest. Let's go with pumpkin. There's one. Got him. Almost got you. I saw that. <laughs> Had to stop short. Ah, now that's the dink of the week that right is, there. That is that is the dink in the dink express. Hello, little fella. That worm's almost as big as him. Yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. it smells fishy. Almost looks like a walleye. Say hello. He does. He's long and thin. Ooh. All right. All right. So I got to go with watermelon red. I think it's just watermelon. I didn't see any red in it. Yeah. But either way, it's like watermelon seed. Got it. Uh-oh, incoming. They turned away. They saw us and they turned away. They wanted no part of the Dink Express. Oh, that's a big bass. Oh, he's got it. He's got it, that's a big one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Woo! He did. Come on, buddy. Oh man. He did choke it. He's uh he's a little gutted. Not bad. No, he's a bass. He's a large man. 10.32. Yep, 10.32 is 17 inches exactly. Zeroed? Mm-hmm. 2.2. 2.2 pounds. For our little pond, that ain't bad at all. Nice little guy. Thank you. Thank you for hitting the uh, whole pumpkin. Oh, yeah, she's ready to go. And she stopped bleeding. She was bleeding a little bit. I gut hooked her just a little bit, but not bad. Yeah, she was ready. Well, I say she's ready. Yeah, she took a little breath there. Pop it a couple more times, baby girl. You know, like, because when, when, uh, when she came up, she acted weird. When you left first let go, she came up out of the water straight out like this. Uh -huh. And like, it's like, just like she shot out a bunch of air. Yeah, she ain't gonna make it. Gosh, that sucks. That doesn't make any sense. I've, I've gut hooked fish before and they bled like crazy. I don't think it was, I don't it think it was, the, away. I don't think it was a hook issue. Like I said, when she did that burp, it's like she blew up her ballast. Well, I gotta be honest, that sucks. That really sucks, but I don't know that there's anything else I could have done. I don't think it was because you said what you could. I really... I think it was just a freak, freak thing. Yeah. I, man, that sucks. I just don't like to see, a, especially a good fish like that, go. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. But what can you do? Honestly, what can you do? fish got him got him got him got him got him he's a he looks pretty healthy man he's pretty thick he's a thick little fish all right we're gonna let you go thanks for hitting our green pumpkin he's got that same little parasite the other one had 
Yeah, watermelon. We're done with this. Calions. Look, you see the little parasite on his back of his tail? Yeah, that little spot right there. And then right there, yeah. It's a parasite. It's what those red eared. You need to get some more shell crackers in here. Yeah, it's what the shell crackers are supposed to prevent. But there you go. All right. Feel him. He's thick. Feel the back of his tail. He's beefy. He's a beefy little fish. He gone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today's video. We laid the smack down on the Zoom Lizard kit. Lizards, this is the time of year you wanna be fishing them. You can throw them on a Carolina rig, a Texas rig. I mean, just those appendages really get moving. Um, for most of us down south, we're already post-spawn or getting to where we're post-spawn. So what that means is you guys up north, y'all need to be throwing lizards right about now. But pre-spawn, all you need to know is lizards work the best. They'll work all year, but they work the best pre-spawn. Anyway, if you want to win that kit, go ahead and get in the comments right now. Tell me what your favorite soft plastic is for your body of water this time of year. What soft plastics are you throwing right now? Um, that's gonna be number one. Number two, if you wanna win, you need to hit the like button. And number three, what do they need to do? Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the red button that says subscribe. Turn it from red to gray. Hit the ding dong notifications. All that's gonna do is send you an email anytime I drop a new video and that is important for these videos because I will put the winner in the description of the next video. So if you don't have the ding dong notifications on, you may miss that video. So we don't want you missing the giveaway. So hit the ding dong notifications. The Dink Express, she did us well today. We had the one big one. I am tore up, honestly about the big one. She had very minimal blood, and uh, she wasn't able to swim away. She blew her bladder. I mean, something something happened that was that really out of my control. I, I mean, again, I gut hooked her, but I don't think that's what did this. I, I usually take pretty good care of those fish when we gut hook them. Um, it's been a long time since I've gut hooked one and it hasn't swam away. And again, like Chris said, he was trying to console me a little bit. We don't think that's what it was, but she eventually made it to the bottom, but not really on her own power. So she may, she probably didn't make it. Number 1032, I believe was her number. I don't think, I don't think she made it, unfortunately. Maybe the depth will help compress her and give her about what she needs. Maybe, I don't know. We're, it would be great a couple months from now if we came out here and we're fishing and we caught her again. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, y'all know the three things you got to do, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.